Example 3. Use the given graph of f to graph each of the following functions. Part b. h of x equals f of x plus 1 minus 2. So I'm given this function f, and I've got certain key points labeled, negative 4, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, 2, 2, and 4, negative 2. So they're giving us the key points on the parent function. We won't have to generate those in this example. Let's look at our new function h of x. We can see we want to compare it to the function f. So we can see inside the grouping symbol, we've added 1. Well, we know that any changes that happen inside the grouping symbol cause horizontal changes. And they, they are typically backwards, quote unquote backwards, of what we would expect. So in this case, when we add 1 inside the grouping symbol, instead of causing a horizontal shift to the right, it's actually a horizontal shift to the left. So our first transformation here is a horizontal shift left one unit. So in order to cause that, sh that shift, I'm going to have to subtract 1 from all the x values of the key points in order to get our new function. So we're going to subtract 1 from our x values. Our second transformation, now if we look outside the grouping symbol, we're subtracting 2. Well, subtraction outside the grouping symbol, anything outside the grouping symbol causes a vertical change. So since it says subtraction of 2, we're going to vertically shift. So we have a vertical shift down 2 units. So in order to cause that transformation, I'm going to need to subtract 2 from the y values. Now, in this problem, it doesn't specifically ask us to list the transformations, but this is so important for partial credit, because if your answer on these is incorrect and you don't have any notes written or partial work here, I won't be able to give you any partial credit. So I highly encourage you guys to write all these notes down to show your work. So now I'll make my table of values. So I've got my parent function, f of x, and my new function, h of x, is f of x plus 1 minus 2. So I'll list the key points on my parent function, negative 4, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, 2, 2, and 4, negative 2. So I'm going to subtract 1 from my x values in order to shift the graph left 1. So negative 4, my first point, negative 4 minus 1 would give me negative 5. And my second point, negative 2 minus 1 gives me negative 3. In my third point, 2 minus 1 gives me 1. And in my fourth point, 4 minus 1 shifts to 3. Now to cause my vertical shift down 2, I'm going to subtract 2 from all the y values. So my first y value here, negative 2 minus 2, is going to give me negative 4. Same in the second point, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. In the third point, 2 minus 2 transforms to 0. And once again, in my last point, negative 2 minus 2 gives us negative 4. So now we have the new key points on our function h. So let's plot these points. So we've got negative 5 negative 4, negative 3, negative 4, 1, 0, and 3, negative 4. And now we know the shape because it's given above here. The parent function is given above. So we'll just connect those points with the appropriate shape. And finally, let's make sure we label these key points. So negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 4, 1, 0, and 3, negative 4.